Hey, what's going on, bros? Tech on here, and this is our first episode of Theory. Today, I will explain how the 4 core Snapdragon 820 completely destroyed the 8 core Snapdragon 810. Let's begin. Alright, so when we talk about SOCs, which stands for System on Chip, we have a few things to talk about. So one, it's the number of cores. Two, the type of cores, which are either high powered or low powered. Three, the frequency the cores are clocked at. Four, the bus width, that is 32 bit or 64 bit. And five, the device fabrication, which is the thinness of the core that you use. So all of us know that Qualcomm in the last generation of their flagship SOCs had a major mess up with their Snapdragon 810 processor. It was actually so hyped up about that even Samsung didn't even implement the 810 in their flagship device, the S6. Instead, they chose to go with their Exynos 7420, which was a homebred Samsung chipset. That was how bad Qualcomm had actually messed up the 810. When we look at the SOCs that Samsung had used for their S6 and the S6 Edge against the SOC that Qualcomm had consider its flagship for last generation, the A10, we don't see much of a difference in the clock speed or the bus width. The only difference goes in the device fabrication. Device fabrication is the process used to create the integrated circuits that were used. The Exynos 7420 ran on a 14 nanometer chipset and the Snapdragon A10 ran on a 20 nanometer chipset. As you can tell, the thinner you go, the harder it gets to manufacture. The key thing that matters here is the thinner chips need less power and produce less heat, both of which are extremely vital for a mobile device. Due to Samsung using a thinner fabrication that is 14 nanometers, they were able to put in around 200 to 300 megahertz more in their processor and still generate much less heat and use much less power than the Snapdragon 810. And that is how the 7420 completely owned the 810. But now it's 2016 and Qualcomm wants to reclaim their throne of best smartphone SoC manufacturer. Enter the Snapdragon 820. The Snapdragon 820 is a quad-core chipset running on a 14 nanometer fabrication and cryo cores, two high-powered cryo cores and two low-powered cryo cores. So one may say, Qualcomm went completely crazy going back down from 8 core to 4 core. But no, that was the smartest decision Qualcomm has made in the past two years. These guys have finally implemented a 14 nanometer chipset and a quad core that not only defeats the A10, but even tops it twice. Hence the final answer why a quad core chipset completely defeated an octa-core chipset is the device fabrication. That's not the only thing though. Even the cores, the cryo cores that were implemented into the A20, they're much more efficient by themselves and they maintain the equilibrium between battery life and performance and so the A20 completely defeated the A10. So can Qualcomm take the lead against uh, Samsung, MediaTek and High Silicon? Only time will tell. Talk about SOCs, which stands for System, on, sy sy 